So it's been a year and more than 15,000 kilometers spent with this, the Opel Corsa 1.4 Turbo Sport. And it's been an enjoyable year. The car's undertaken a number of pretty difficult tasks. Everything from the daily run around to weekends away in far-flung locations. However, one question has been on our lips the whole time the car's been with us. Has tacking the Sport label onto Opel's venerable Corsa resulted in a car that's genuinely talented and multifaceted? Or are we looking at something of a paper tiger? Being the halo model of the Corsa range, the Sport is not cheap. It commands a price tag of more than 270,000 Rand. But you get a lot of standard equipment for that money. Standard features include such things as auto lights and wipers, electric front windows and mirrors, an auto dimming rear view mirror and air conditioning. And perhaps the heart of it all is this. This is Opel's IntelliLink infotainment system. It's a proprietary system that uses both Bluetooth and USB as well as auxiliary connectivity. It's also got smartphone driven app features, one of which is Bringo their sat-nav system. Now, it's a mixed bag. While it's very colorful and very function-rich, it does tend to slow down and stutter, especially when you're streaming music. Now, the Corsa's cabin is also fairly livable. It's got that nice, solid German feel to the finish. And because of the five-door arrangement, you're not barging past the driver's seat to get into the back here. That said, Rear legroom is fairly tight and sitting back here you're also aware of a bizarre omission. The folks up front have electric windows, folks back here have to wind their windows. It has to be said that Opel Sport treatment is very subtle and nowhere is that more evident than here in the cabin. I mean, you've got to look around for some of these sports cues, but they're very, very neat. Perhaps the nicest one is this nice, chunky sports steering wheel. Then you've also got sports seats with a bit of additional bolstering and tartan panels on it. And down here, metal pedal boots. And it's a similar story with the sports exterior treatments. Opel hasn't gone overboard and the overall effect is very tasteful. There are just little signs as to the car's sporting intent. Things such as pieces of carbon fiber trim up front, 17 inch sports alloy wheels, and a chrome exhaust finisher down there. However, it's this little badge here that hints at the biggest change that this car has undergone, and that's under the bonnet. Under here we have Opel's 1.4 liter Ecotec turbo petrol engine. Now this engine is similar to the one used in a number of other Opel models, which include the Mocha and the Astra. However, in this case, this unit's been tuned to produce 110 kilowatts and 220 newton meters of torque. That opens up a neat gap between this car and the one liter turbo petrol models, which develop 85 kilowatts. But the question remains, is that enough to lend the car the sort of liveliness that we'd expect of the Sport label? So, has the new engine made a big difference to the Corsa? Well, I'm gonna be typically obtuse and say yes and no. Yes, there's definitely more punch. The engine is quite lively, uh, willing to pull from low revs, and it feels suitably strong, given that it's propelling a fairly light car. Um, it is softly spoken. There's, the exhaust tone is not especially sporty, but that's not necessarily a bad thing if you're traveling long distances. Thankfully, Opel's engineers have looked beyond the engine bay when it comes to imbuing this car with a little bit more of a sporty feel. They've gone to the car's underpinnings and what they've done is that they've lowered the ride height, they've stiffened the springs a little bit and toyed around with the damper settings. And by and large, it's worked. The result is body control is very good. Well, that said, uh, the combination of having a 
fairly stiffly sprung rear end and low profile tyres does mean that every now and then the car crashes a little bit over larger imperfections in the road. The steering has a bit of weight to it, feels fairly nice. It's not hugely precise, but you know, it's pleasant enough. One thing about the steering in this car as well that's worth mentioning, it's an electrically assisted setup. And in this model, it also features a city steering uh, system. Basically, this adds even more assistance to the steering, um, which is quite handy at low speeds. If you're parking in town or trying to uh, swing into a tight lane. Now, in addition to the generous standard specification, this particular car is fitted with an option pack that features front park distance control, an automated parallel parking system, and a blind spot monitor. They're all fairly big car features, and it's really quite cool to have them on the Opal, but you know, they're not absolute deal breakers in terms of their being there or not. The autonomous parking system is precise, it'll get you into a bay quite nicely, but it doesn't always scan bays that you think you'd be able to get into, and the maneuver is not all that fast. It's, it's a little bit of a gimmick. The front PDC array is quite handy because the Opal's nose slopes steeply away from you. But I'd say the handiest bit of that option pack has to be the blind spot assist. Basically what it does is it takes the front and rear PDC and it scans the area where you would normally have a blind spot to see if there's a vehicle there. And if there is a vehicle there, a little yellow light comes on in your wing mirror. It might not sound like much, but I've got to say that uh, it's a feature that has saved my bacon on a couple of occasions, owing to some rather ambitious overtaking and undertaking maneuvers on the part of fellow road users. So how have I found my year with the Corsa Sport? Genuinely speaking, I've really enjoyed it. I like the fact that there's a sort of layered nuance to the car. There's, there is a bit of fun, it's not too hard, but it's also a little bit livable as well. I also like the fact that it's quite subtly done. It's not in your face all the time. Would I recommend the Opel Corsa Sport? Do you know what? I would. It's not cheap at over 270,000 Rand, but it's characterful, it's well equipped, and it builds on the character of the already very likable Opel Corsa.